tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time I feel alive And the world turn it inside out And float it around in ecstasy The project's called Physics Rocks, and the students are building electric guitars from scratch, and then we're gonna look at the physical components that go on each part. We did some research about gear ratios for the tuners, and we've also learned um, things like electromagnetic induction for the pickups, and we've also learned how to use power tools. There was, they were tested on how to use every single tool. So it was assured every single student knew how to use them safely. And once we got into the project and they had a purpose for the tools, they seemed to get it and everything clicks. And yeah. Really trying to stress their creativity and just the importance of doing your very best um, and not rush through those things. So I, by preaching those things, I hope they're realizing that it's very important. It helps us learn math as well as learning stuff about art. So. Pretty fun. I painted for about like two weeks. Huh. But then I had to stop because I had to work on other things. The most fun is definitely painting because you could choose like any color you want and you can make your guitars crazy or so much more. With the tuners that tighten the strings, we're going to look at torques and gear ratios, and then with the electrical pickup, we're going to look at electricity and magnetism, all the way down to the vibration of the string and what that means for waves and sound propagation. This has a magnet inside, which every time you strum, it disturbs the magnet, so it makes a sound which later gets amplified by the pot potentiometer. The most difficult part of the project is probably um, figuring out different ways to make your guitar unique, and also um, there are certain things with the guitar that aren't perfect yet, and working out the kinks in it. The hardest part is probably cutting out your design, because if it's not like perfect, then it could like totally just mess up the whole guitar. First you start out by sketching out your body shape and then you cut that out of plywood. Then we painted them. Then we added screws into the bass block so that the strings could be tied to it. And also we added the audio jack to the bass block so that an amp can be plugged in. My crazy little vintage explorer. You see the markings on the guitar? Those are originally supposed to be fretboards, so they have like little metal pieces going across them. You can actually press on it, but during construction, you know, I decided that I'd rather just have it fretless so I could hit all the in-between notes. I decided to, to do a shoe, like this high heel inspired me, so I was just like, oh, I'm going to do a shoe, right? And Mr. Davis thought it was like, it wasn't going to work because the body of the guitar was really small, but it ended up working. and. Yeah, yeah, I ended up with an electric guitar. The most fun would be working with your partners and building something that's, that you can use, like a guitar. You know, you can play a guitar. Do you know any songs? <laughs> Look like you're... Hey! Yeah. I'm playing a song! And it's not gonna take long. It's an awesome project. I love it. See, at least it works. Oh my god!